Hey guys, how are you? Uh, just here today, going to show you a little video of what I've been making. But before that, I thought I'd just show you the scenery. Particularly nice day on the Gold Coast. You can see it's a little bit cloudy. But, uh, yeah, beautiful day. Okay, I'll show you what I'm making now. I wanted to uh, make something that I could take with me when I go camping. Uh, or that I could have with me for the inevitable... Uh, zombie apocalypse. Um, I've acquired a few things free of charge, uh, just scraps basically, uh, and stuff I've actually bought from work. Um, I'll show you now a couple of things which I've acquired. I've got a couple of fully sealed gel cell batteries, which just so happen to be no good for their sole purpose as a portable jump starter. So I've recycled them, pulled them out, and going to wire them up so I can run 12 volt pretty much for anything. Um, either run them straight off 12 volt or so I can run a 12 volt to 240 volt powered inverter. Um, so I've got the two batteries, the case I got from work also, which I work for that company there. And the case itself comes with uh, a bit of a egg carton type foam. Uh, it's already lined with uh, prefabricated and pre-cut foam as well. See the little cubes? This bit of foam is actually about four inches thick and it actually comes out in two layers. So you can pull out one piece or the two piece. And I've just gone ahead and pulled out the sections for the battery here already. That kind of shows it. And that's probably about two inches there. It'll actually go down another inch. So it's probably about three inches of foam all up. Um, so we just slot in there. Yeah. Foam there. And what else I've got is uh, some wiring, some 15 amp 12 volt wiring and a 12 volt high ampage power plug. So I can plug uh, just, a, just like a phone charger straight into that or a powered inverter. Uh, 12 volt hemophorous solar panel which works really good in sunny on sunny days or about I would say about 90-95% efficiency on a cloudy day like today um, comes with alligator clips which are easy detachable you can see there they actually just pull apart quite easily and you get a secondary plug which you can just hardwire to the terminals uh, a few tools which I've already had and just spare nuts and bolts um, that's pretty much it for now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a hole in the outside of the case so I can fit the 12 volt plug in this corner. You can see I've already outlined something. So I'll drill that out so that plug fits in there nice and neat. And there should be plenty of room in here if I want to add any extras in the future. Um, that's it for now. This is uh, part one of part two, or a two part series, I should say. Uh, Hope you like this. We'll get back to you with the finished product.